A Europe's third largest truck maker reported operating profit of 325 million euros on higher demand from freight transporters and construction companies. On the phone now from Munich is the company's chief finance officer, Frank Lutz. Thank you so much for joining us today. I just wanted to get an update on your cooperation and merger with Scania. What's the latest on that? Good morning. Well, um, as we uh, announced before, we are looking into a co the, the, the cooperation potential. We are looking into synergy potential at the moment. Um, but on the other hand, uh, we are still competitors, and uh, therefore we are facing some legal problems, also some technical problems. And until they are not solved, uh, we can unfortunately not communicate more. And when do you actually expect uh, these problems to be solved? In the next couple of months? Will it take longer? It's really hard to say from today's perspective because some of the uh, the topics are complex. They can we can most likely find easy solutions, but they could also drag out. Uh, what about the state of, of talks with the IPIC on Ferrostal? Any update on that? There's unfortunately no news. Um, we, uh, f last week we heard that IPIC is willing to get back to the negotiations table. Um, we, uh, we like that uh, and we are willing to negotiate with them. Uh, Mr. Lutz, tell me a little bit about your prospect for the future. In terms of your biggest concern, are you concerned that actually growth will slow more than expected in Germany, but also in the rest of Europe? And what impact will that have on your business? Well, I wouldn't call it a concern because at the moment we have no indication that that could happen, but uh, we are certainly vigilant about that. We hear, we hear um, what economists say um, and uh, we watch the situation, but from our order intake numbers, as you said before, and also when I look at our revenues, uh, we have no indication that we should slow down our production program. So what is your, your biggest concern, inflation? Inflation is a big concern, certainly, yes. And so that has an impact on your costs, and are, are you taking any hedge to actually minimize the impact of inflation in the next couple of quarters? Yes, we do take hedges. We take hedges on currencies. We also take hedges on material costs, and therefore uh, try to tackle the problem of uh, enhanced uh, inflation. Are you concerned about also the, the currency and the fact that the euro is rising against the dollar? How much does that impact your business? It's, fortunately enough, it's not impacting us too much because we have a very small percentage of our revenues coming from the U.S. dollar region, um, but uh, where we see more problems is with the rising real in Brazil. And in terms of, again, these rising commodity prices, inflation, how much will you have to, s to spend in the future with your suppliers? Are, are you in negotiations at the moment? Have you tried to keep the prices down? Yes, yeah, we certainly try to keep the prices down. Uh, we also try to keep uh, the, uh, the suppliers in a situation that they can provide us with the supplies because we are increasing our production program compared to what we planned last year. And we need to make sure at the moment that we get all the supplies. Now, Germany and Austria, of course, opened uh, their borders to Eastern European workers on May the 1st. How does that impact the way that you see these migrant workers? Are you going to take some on? Or are you concerned it will change the, the parameters in the country? No, we are not too concerned about that. I think we are an international company anyway. We have production sites not only in Germany, but also throughout Europe, in Brazil, in Russia, uh, and in China. So therefore, um, we have absolutely no, no problem. In fact, we like the fact that we have more people from Eastern Europe now being able to work in Germany. Uh, Frank Lutz, you say your, your biggest concern, if I understand correctly, for Europe is inflation. What about the rest of the world? I think the same is true for Brazil at the moment. Uh, we have a very strong economy there, and the, uh, the government is uh, increasing interest rates at the moment to fight against inflation. And we could have a similar situation in China. So I think uh, that is something that is true for basically um, all the world that we are active in. So does it mean that it's going to be more difficult for, for your revenue and profit in the next couple of quarters? Well, from today's perspective, the answer is no. Um, and I think we are well prepared even for an, an area or an environment where inflation is going up but we need, certainly need to watch it. All right, Frank Lutz, uh, pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much. You're welcome.